we've got a newcomer. We've got a newcomer. We've got, We've a, new got a new cover. We've 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 got a new cover. And welcome to another edition of Boston Blue Beat. Uh, I am your host, uh, JMD. 
Uh, joined on commentary this week by Pickles and Gorgovich. I will let them introduce themselves shortly. Um, but here at Boston Blue Beat, uh, I would like to remind you, as always, that we are very passionate about Black Lives Matter. It's a cause that's near and dear to most of us, all of us. Um, and on the on the screen right now are two links for uh, two good organizations that you can donate to: um, the Bail Project for Louisville protesters, and also the National Black Justice Coalition, which uh, benefits uh, transgender, queer. Um, uh, by POC um, and is just an all-around wonderful organization. Um, we will also, uh, this week, uh, we would like to shout out our friends over at System Arcadia um, who will be running uh, their, uh, I guess, Halloween-themed uh, major event, which is also, uh, donations will also benefit uh, the National Black Justice Coalition um, as well for that. Um, they will be live, uh, I believe, this Sunday. Um, Saturday? It's the 17th. My sense of time is, is destroyed. It's on it's Saturday the 17th, uh, live on their Twitch channel. Um, it's going to be a really great show. They've got a lot of really cool J-Core and other artists uh, lined up. Um, and they're, uh, they're also a great contributor to the scene. And I'm really glad they're doing this and, and benefiting charity as well. Um, but with that said, I am going to turn it over uh, to Gorgon Pickles and uh, let them take it away. What's good, friends? Uh, my name is Gorgovich. I am here to commentate some good, good Guilty Gear. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm looking at the bracket right now. We're going to see some good matchups right off the bat. Uh, matchups with some history in the Boston Blue Beat scene. So looking forward to it. Let's do okay. it. Looks pretty good. Uh, hi, I'm Pickles. I'm also going to be commentating some good matches of Guilty Gear. I think first off we got uh, Swiggin versus Richter and... I don't know a lot about Swiggin. I know Richter is primarily a Blaze Blue player. He plays Bang in that game. Uh, yeah. And Jam in this one. I don't know, you, do you know uh, much about Swiggin? I don't know much about Swiggin, but we have seen Swiggin play before. Uh, a strong Venom player. Uh, I have seen Richter play. I played Richter in Blaze Blue, but am not familiar with his Jam or his Guilty Gear prowess. So this is going to be an interesting match. And right off the bat, we're seeing some instant air dash shenanigans. Jam getting right in. Yeah, so it's like uh, Richter's having a bit of a hard time keeping up with Swiggin. He's doing a good job controlling the screen and moving around. Go to anti-air. Trying to back up, get some space. Uh, unfortunately, giving Swiggin oh. time to set up balls. I wonder if that's supposed to be an IAD YRC, because he kind of just jumped forward into it. Oh, got the oh. counter hit. Bursts out. Oh, yep, gets hit by the pressure. This is not going to kill, but Swiggin has a lot oh. of meter. Uh, he did drop the combo, but he's still in a very good position with the uh, balls, and then yeah, gets hit by. I don't actually know. Yeah, that's the, the uh, first round going to Swiggin. That, that's 6H or what? I know what all the moves look like, but I don't know what uh, you know what the other characters' moves are called. But uh, we're gonna I mean, do some guessy tonight then, because I'm in the yeah. same boat. I'm not familiar <laughs> with these characters' buttons. It can... hits him with the pool cue, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can fill you in on some of those for sure, guys. At least the jam oh, stuff I know. Good. We're seeing a, a couple drop combos from Swiggin, but it doesn't seem to matter. His pressure is yeah, his... intense. I wonder if uh, how much experience uh, Richter has with the Venom matchup, because it definitely... Swiggin seems to be having a... Uh, you know... Richter, Richter is having a hard time getting around the uh, the balls that Venom is putting on the screen. Another air throw, and that... Oh, okay, he bursts out to avoid the kill, but... Air throw seems to be really working out for Swiggin as a defensive option against Richter's pressure. Uh, cleanly taking the first game. Um, we'll have to see what the adjustment is going into the second game. It seems like Swiggin is really ready for Richter to come in with those air dashes. Um, been hit, getting a lot of 6p hits, a lot of air throws. Uh, it seems like a lot of the time it's not even an air dash. I think I wonder if Richie is like, trying to get an air dash and it's not coming out because he does seem to be sort of like jumping forward and pressing a button a lot of the time when it doesn't really when like his, it's not anywhere near Venom. So I don't know if he's expecting a jump or if it's just a missed input. I wonder if but it's the timing there. because I know that Guilty Gear's IAD timing is very different from Blaze Blues, and if you're used oh, that, to one, yeah. it may mess you up. That's fair. That's reasonable. Yeah. This pressure, oh, gets hit high. Definitely got him stuck in the corner with the ball, Loki. Having a hard time dealing with it. It's more Oki. Oh, jumps out, YRC. Very strong option. And then we're seeing Richter yeah. getting put back in the corner again. He's got to fight his way out. 
He's doing a lot of like flying. Oh, it hits him out of the teleport. Might be able to get something going here. Oh, good sweep. I got, got a card. Oh, no card though. YRC uh -oh. too early. Uh, and this is match point for Swiggin. Yeah, I wonder if, uh, I don't know about the GM versus Venom matchup, what she has against him on the ground, but it does seem like he's kind of just jumping around and Swiggin's just staying on the ground and waiting for him to do something so we can hit him out of it. Yeah, Venom can really uh, afford to be patient in this matchup. Jam's movement options are great, but Venom has excellent options to cover the angles that Jam wants to come in at. Uh, right, great buttons. The, uh, I, was, I was about to say, Richie has a uh, 50 meter. He can do something with it. He ends up uh, using it on to make that pressure, but doesn't end up getting anything out of it. But does the kick. I'm not sure if that one's unsafe or not. Uh, we're hearing from a Venom main in the chat that I have misspoke. Apparently, Jam is the worst matchup for Venom, which is not what I would have thought. That's a that's a that's debatable. Um, is as, it considered as, to be a bad matchup generally, though? As as the Jam player, I will say that uh, I'll say that um, one of the things uh, a GG's director is is uh, Venom's hard to fight. You know, like as as a general rule, if you haven't if you haven't played in a while, um, learning to navigate around that ball pressure is rough. Jam can can free up venom real hard with 6h and i saw rector doing a lot of kind of like dash in and like honestly really really well spaced far slash work um but but what i would have liked to see more of you know is like a little more 6h a little more 6p in neutral 6p gives you that uh which is her little you know she she does like a two hit sticks her arm out that'll give yeah. you uh upper body invul to get through some of the balls um, and uh, in other cases, you wanna you wanna bust out a six H jam. Just travels so far; it travels over a ton of Venom's lower normals. And like, if he's trying to set up, uh, like a, like a ball or something like that, it'll just counter hit him clean, and then you gotta carry him all the way to the corner. Um, but that's just you know a matchup knowledge thing. Other you know like it's you know you would think like oh I don't want to run in on on Venom. He'll like he'll uh, he'll stinger aim me out of existence and it's like nah you can be wild you can be wild ignorant as jam and get away with it and i think you you almost do have to be pretty aggressive because if you know you can't just let venom do whatever he wants this but is anyway, not <laughs> speaking Sorry. of we're going into a matchup yeah, where another, another venom uh, mix up playing eno against Novanox. Uh, i think venom. the name oh wait oh these names are not what backwards. it's happening <laughs> yeah no these aren't switched these aren't switched yeah I feel I, like I've been. I don't think I've seen Mixa play Eno before. He definitely he is a Mixa is a normally a, a Venom player, so I saw Venom and uh, someone who wasn't Venom on the screen and assumed that it was a certain way. It's not. Ooh, gets up right, by the JD. Let's see Mixa's. You know he's getting a lot of pressure right now. Gets the OT. getting opened up by the overheads. Gets the JD. This character I actually know what her what her moves are called because I did play her for a little while. Hey, there we go. We got the knowledge. Oh, oh, nice, nice stroke under the. Uh, I'm not sure what button Venom pressed there, but Drip's big tree goes under it as it does a lot of things. Great move. Not that time uh, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Venom has job. an answer for that. Yeah, good Ooh, job. It's uh, opened up high. Expecting him to do it again, but let's see it. Six, six eight. eight. Seems like uh, he's doing a lot of just like the random dives, and they seem to be working out, but. That is a pretty unsafe option if it, if it wasn't uh, connecting every time. But, right. got I mean, knocked down, is, uh, going for the mix-ups, yeah. You know, she gets you knocked down. She drops the combo. And you're not... Oh! Misses Throws the, the blitz. Thrown, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there are uh, a bunch of options in this game available to characters at any time, ranging from safe to very, very risky. But, as the old adage goes, you know, if it ain't broke, don't go, don't fix it. If That's it true. works, It, work, it is working it. out for him. He took... Uh, next to taking game one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, a lot of it here was, uh, you know, once you get knocked down by, you know, you're going to get mixed up. Yeah. And I can see that being a real tough time for Venom not having a real reversal get off me sort of tool outside of universal mechanics. Yeah. He's also getting hit a lot of the time by JD, and I know that, like, if you, uh, if you're ready, there are options to stop her from doing that, but you do have to kind of expect it. Right. Oh, gets hit again by that JD, like you said. And bursts out. It gets pushed out. Or bursts out, sorry. Oh, Another guy working out for him. 
Oh. Looks like Mixa Unfortunately, uh, misses the IAD combo. Yeah, maybe not as comfortable with doing the, uh, the IAD routes yet. And again, I don't, I don't know how much you know Mixa has actually played. It's, I don't think this is his usual character. But hey, this is the time to try your stuff out, you know? Absolutely. Uh, nothing wrong with experimenting, uh, and each of these people very, very familiar with the other player's character. Um, so it's a very does interesting Nova, matchup. Does Novanox usually play Eno? You know? Is that like, they, did they switch, or... I don't uh, actually remember who Novanox plays. Novanox plays a, a bunch of different characters, just to jump in for a sec. Um, I know he, he has played Eno for a long time. He just recently switched to Venom, I would say, like, two, three weeks oh, ago. okay. I see. So maybe both of them are, uh... Trying something out and doing it just so happens that they're they just decided to go for the other person's character. Because I think Venom, uh, not Venom, sorry, Mixa has mentioned wanting to play Eno before, but just hadn't. So I guess maybe now he's decided it's the time. Right, and it. it's a perfect time because you know you can't play. You got to play her now, or else you're not going to get to and strive. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, anyway, it's, no, it'll no, just no, be five dollars. Oh, uh, the random super there. I'm not sure if that was a missed input or if he was expecting him to come at him or something like that. Mixa doing more dives, okay, and this, this time Novanok scouting and punishing. Punish, yeah. Not that time, though. I think he might have been able to kill off the counter hit, not sure. Oh, gets right. hit by the HDL. Now we're going to, uh... I wish Guilty Gear said at the top the, uh, like, the score thing, because I don't remember who won game one. I believe I that that was, was Mixa. Uh, Mixa. Mixa took game one. Oh, Mixa yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is game point for Mixa, then, if he can take this round. Yeah. Novanox, uh, not giving up easy though. It's pretty oh. even right now. Oh. Gets thrown. That, 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 the, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was sick. Good burst to get out. Wow! That was a nice uh, hitting the ball up to stop the dive. He had the hit but didn't confirm and jump cancelled it though. A jump back dive really paying off for Mixa. Oh, Turn gets the full combo made. this time. He got the combo into the XCLD knockdown. Jumps out of Oki. Oh, Ooh, and here it comes. What's gonna happen here? Oh, okay. Setting up. And carried to the corner by the ball. Nice intercept of the dive again. Looks like Novanox is starting to be ready for it, but I'm not sure if it'll be too late. Okay. Nice oh, block. Oh, I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. Looks like he's definitely... Oh, no, he missed the punish. He's definitely ready for those dives now, though. Totally. Okay. Uh, Mixa had to gold burst, but it was in vain. Novanox taking the second game. Yeah, I think Novanox is starting, starting to adapt to Mixa. Mixa does have a kind of a wild style of Eno play. And I think the Novanox is starting to uh, starting to adapt to that in game two there. Oh, oh but we're he... seeing character select. Oh, character select. Yeah, he's going to go back to Venom. To... Oh, all right. Three Venoms in bracket tonight. Uh... Yeah, he's a cool character. I, lo I love watching Venom. I can't play him. He's, he's too hard for me, but I love watching this character. I think he's one of the coolest characters in fighting games. Oh, he's so cool from a design standpoint, but God, when you're actually playing against him, it is a <laughs> nightmare. Yeah. It's like what you were saying before, it doesn't really apply here because both these characters, both these people are pretty familiar with the character, I think, but like when uh, Richie versus Venom, he is a character that I think you can get knowledge checked out of. Absolutely. Pretty pretty wow. easily. He has a lot of stuff that you really gotta know how to deal with it. But I think both these players probably will know how to deal with their character's stuff. Yeah, they won't be able to gimmick nice each other blitz. for sure. Blocks mad struggle. Oh, good pressure. First out, yeah, you gotta, you're in the corner. And I gotta look at the health bars again and see which Venom is which. Okay, so Mix is the red one. Uh, that yeah, JP Mick. scouting. Ooh, nice uh, 6P, I think that was, I'm not sure. I assume because it went through his air normal. It's very difficult to comment at this matchup, actually. Yeah, they're, they're throwing balls and teleporting. Yeah. And <laughs> Doing Venom oh, drop, stuff. Drop, drop the throw combo, comes down from the top of the screen. Oh, nice air throw on the tech. Alright. Drops the combo, gets swept for his uh, trouble. There are some unfortunate drops coming from coming from Mixa. Seems like he's getting the initiative in a lot of situations, but just uh, oh. the gold ends up bird. dropping something and gives Novanox a chance to respond. But... Oh, oh what a what a shot. Clean. That's a snipe. Novanox taking round one. <laughs> that was silly. All right, old man Mixa, that jumping in. Indian Indian's all right. Mixa definitely uh, taking take to the air again this game. Yeah, I would love to see Nomenox try to scout that more, maybe with an air throw. Uh, it does seem like Mixa is doing a lot of jump back out of pressure. 
and then setting yeah. up a ball or teleporting away. Doing the ball that like bounces off the ground up to seems to be working pretty well when Mixa does it on his side against Novanoxa jump ins. So I'd like to see Novanoxa try that one out. Yeah, like that. He did it. He tried it there, but uh, Mixa didn't jump that time. Oh, well, gets a sweep. I'm not sure if that extension was worth sending him full screen for instead of taking a knockdown, but. Gets caught pressing. Right. Gets, the, gets the ball set up. Mixa is able to jump out, however. Now it's Open up turn. high. And there's the Oki in the corner. This is terrifying. Oh, nice, nice struggle. Nice struggle. And, chip damage. Uh, chip out, yeah. He had a lot of meter. I don't. I guess uh, he didn't so think this was uh, trying to. Oh no! This, this game, you do lose your meter at the end of the round. Yeah, I don't. Yes. I guess he just didn't FD. Uh, All right. So we're on match point now uh, for both players. Bursts out. Good early burst. Uh, with Venom's multi-hit moves, he might get that back for the end of the round. Oh, good 6P, and then burst immediately. He gets the burst, yeah. Oh, good run under 6P. Another 6P. Air Dash is back, expecting something, but doesn't end up... Uh, the Nox didn't seem to have done the option that Muxa was expecting. Getting the, um, getting the charge balls. That's going to be a lot of damage. Wow! Novanox is almost dead. Yeah, oh, yeah. It. That was a ball into YRC. Very strong option. And Mix is going to take that game and move on to the next round. Mix is showing his Venom prowess. It certainly looked like he was a lot more comfortable in the character than Novanox, which uh, would make sense. He'd been playing Venom for much longer. But, uh... It's interesting. Yeah. It's, Venom is not typically a character that you see incredibly often. Not too rare but also not common uh and we've just seen three right out the bat right off the bat uh you love to see it i love seeing up underrepresented characters uh do incredibly well uh at the top level you'll see very strong That's venoms um but not necessarily a common pick due to the barrier of execution for that character for sure all right so now we got aggro craig on faust versus source on chip i I'm pretty familiar with Aggro Craig. I don't really know much about Source. Is that someone that you uh, are familiar with if he's been entering these or anything like that? Source has been in a previous tournament. Uh, I'm not okay. too familiar with their play. Um, well, I guess they're going to show us. Uh, but right now, what we're seeing is Aggro Craig just being a big bully, keeping him oh, in the I corner. Don't. Mine still, my screen still says, please wait, I haven't logged into the game yet. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're about... Uh, part of the way through the first round and uh the source is actually being able to get some pressure back but whiffs a gold burst gets thrown by aggro craig and now we're back in the corner oh but air throws him out of going my way counter hit 2h oh oh my goodness the teleports the 5p that was a round Pickles, how are you doing? Have you loaded in oh, quite yet? Yeah. Connection with opponent was lost. I'm back to. Uh, let me see if I can. I'm back in spectator queue, but I guess let's right. see if I can get get on the next game. The teleports are really uh, throwing aggro crag for a loop. This is the source's round so far. Run up blitz, but gets thrown. Um, the decision making here is so fast paced. Block six H. Good job with that. Uh, gets hit by going my way. Block 6H again. He must be familiar with Aggro Crag's playstyle. Oh, doesn't block that 6H, oh. however, and Aggro Crag takes the first game. So I think going into this next game, uh, we're going to see more teleport shenanigans from Source, and Aggro Crag was able to adapt that time. But I'm wondering how this is going to interact, what adjustments he's going to make to deal with the, uh, the pressure and mix-ups coming from him. Oh, well, the uh, adjustment is 6H. And again. When I tried to refresh the spectator queue, and I think I hopped on the, like, this, the getting on the setup queue. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. <laughs> you can just jump off the setup. Fine. Yeah. Although I look like I'm going to have the feeling to connect me again. I wonder why, Wake this, up. why this is happening. Poison's out. 
Oh, 6 HYRC into low. You love to see it. The homie coming through and takes that round for aggro Greg. I'm gonna try restarting my game, see if I can fix this issue. This is all right, Aggro Craig controlling the neutral, just six peeing, swatting Chip out of the sky. Danger time. <laughs> we always love danger time. Oh, oh, okay. Confirm, throw the homie out. That burst, but was full screen, so Aggro Craig's still able to get pressure. Oh, the helium's coming. Ooh, but he ducks, the so he doesn't get the command grab. Nice. Oh, there he's going in. Confirmed the, the stupor. Wow, that's a lot of damage on the Hellfire. Nice. Aggro Craig bursting out, trying to chip the source with going my way and succeeds. And first game? Second game? Yeah, second, second game. game. Yeah. Second game. Going to Aggro Craig. So Aggro Craig going to move on. Yeah. Great adjustments, though, there from source. Uh, I really I really liked uh, kind of uh, uh, the adjustments that he made in the second round. Uh, that was a really tight confirm in a super too, uh, just to get all that damage in the corner. I think if he had, uh, you know, if he had FD that uh, that uh, going my way, um, you know, kind of would have pushed him back a little bit. But I, I think Craig would have actually stayed up in the air, and then he would have been able to punish. Um, but overall, great stuff. Uh, Craig moves on. Um, I'm gonna play Branch. All right. Awesome. Great. So we got this is a, this is a classic. Uh... I don't know about BBB online matchup because I don't think Branch has been entering these too often. But back when uh, in the ye old days of offline Guilty Gear play, this is a very common matchup at uh, Boston locals. Branch uh, as a dizzy player and JMD obviously as a gym. Player. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see how this matchup is going to play out. Um, I love seeing good Dizzy play, and I'm interested to see how JMD is going to try and get around all of these varying projectiles and summons that yeah. Dizzy has. Uh, from playing, I play I play Dizzy. In my from my experience in the GM matchup, a lot of it is like, you know, you. It's kind of a lot of hard reads from both sides. It feels like you kind of like if you can predict what the what the other person is going to do, then you can get through it. But uh. It can be hard sometimes, but right now, uh, JMD has seized the early initiative and got Branch in the corner, but she's fighting out. Yep. And, uh, wow. Oh, nice, nice YRC in uh, confirming the IAD into anti-air. Mm -hmm. Branch making really good use of YRC to uh, see, check where JMD is, see what he's doing, and then punish him accordingly when he's flying through the air. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, oh, oh. through everything. Fully it's charged, good, boy. It's a good job of... Uh, Oh, that hurts. It hurts so bad. First, uh, now you're in the corner. Okay, but yeah, Jamie actually carried her corner to corner. That was kind of crazy. And we're back in the corner again. Oh, Jamie nice overhead. It. I don't think she's dead, but... Yeah, we we got cards. Card. Nice overhead. That should do it. Oh, Branch. Oh, first gets thrown. Oh, she... Wow. Oh, my God. Branch has so a tense. ton of meter. She's, she definitely... Oh, no. Wow. Uh, both of those players could have ended that round in a couple yeah. different situations. It was so tense. Uh, both character characters making split-second decisions. Um, Dizzy definitely has a lot of strong like Y or C options, so when, when she has meter, she can control the screen like super well, and it's really unfortunate that French uh, died before she got a chance to use any of that. Oh, here's but the Oki. Now, she, now it's her turn. Now she's got the Dizzy Oki, which is... Yeah. Anyone who's played against Dizzy knows that this is extraordinarily impressive, but JMD can walk his way out, but gets hit by the reversal mirror, unfortunately going for the uh, overhead kick. Now so it's now it's one round of peace. And we're going to see... Oh, jump back, air dash forward from both of them, but Jam wins. Good, good intercept uh, on Branch trying to go back in there, but now and she's now. got the hit. Good throw. throw. That is such a terrifying mix-up. When she throws the fish on top of you and has just enough of a gap to throw you in between the hits. Izzy also has a very strong throw in this game. The, just the, like, the range of her throw, normal throw is really good, and she gets uh, she can like, actually combo off it, which most characters can't do, uh, into a very strong setup. Right. Uh, Dizzy, a very unique character archetype where she has very strong zoning tools and projectiles, but at the same time has a deadly Oki and mix-up game, especially in the corner. For sure, I think she's de she's definitely a character that that controls neutral very well, and uh, 
obviously has extremely strong Oki, but I think her one of her biggest weaknesses is like maintaining pressure. You kind of need Meteor to be able to extend the... Right. Like or after you make someone, uh, someone block, like keeping the initiative going is hard for her to do. But right. right now she's just controlling the neutral, though... Wow, what a confirm from JMD, that was really good. And now we're in uh, the corner against Jam! Oh, wow! I the back up, up right there, by the ice spike, but... He's trying to, trying to get in, but Dizzy's normals are keeping him out. Nice and again, we see the YRC. Intercept. Yeah. Okay. Well, hits her with a kick, but instant burst out. Not surprised. Gets the card. Wow, nice! Cross up. What a cross up! That was a very cool setup. But gets hit by the falling air normal into death. Alright. Round two. The counter hits. They hurt, but jams hurt more. Oh, cool. mashes out of the dust. out of dust, not, not taking that. That's what we call Abare. We love the Abare. Alright, keeping pressure up with the TK bubble. Pretty good way for her to do it. She has a jump cancel to let her reset pressure that way. Oh, Abare again, and then air dash out. Branch really does not want to be in the corner. Oh, tries to wow. tries to set up, but the uh, whatever that dragon kick move is called, RC is able to uh, stop her. Comes down with the kick. Get another card. Oh, oh gets but blitzes. Unfortunate. Empty air dash low, but oh, able to block it. I'm not sure what triggered there, but uh, this is. Yeah, Branch able to take that. Um, that was an explosive matchup. Um, a lot of air dashing. Um, Dizzy, one of the characters that can really keep up with Jam's quick movement. Yeah, Dizzy um, definitely one of the pro one of the most mobile, if not well, not not the most mobile. Sorry, because Chip exists, but she's very she's a very mobile character for sure. So she right. can keep up with Jam's movement. Uh, having easily. the unique option of having two air dashes in the air, super useful for her. It is a very volatile matchup too, because like we were, you know, we were talking about Dizzy Zoki being strong, but Jim's uh, pressure against Dizzy, it's hard for Dizzy to uh, get out of that because her normals are pretty slow and she doesn't have a lot of defensive options. So it's a very like swingy matchup, even by Guilty Gear standards, for like whoever gets the first hit is right. going to be in a very strong position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I think up next, who do we have? Gonna be uh, Undertow and Mixa. Sorry, I forgot to uh, line stuff up before my match. That's no problem. So uh, Mixa, we've seen Undertow. I know is a uh, very strong biking player. Yes, very strong. Uh, done very well in these uh, Boston Blue Beat events in the past. Um, I think this is a, a match that the two of these players have played. Uh, many times. Yeah. A tale as old as time. This is also another uh, another classic Boston matchup, these two players. I'm uh, very familiar with each other by now, I'm sure. This looks like we're just waiting for Undertow to join the lobby right now. Yep. Just a little... Um, we have moved. Um, I would like to give a shout-out uh, to a variety of the Guilty Gear 2 guys. Um... Uh, Oxy Amadeus um, have both been really helpful for me, at least. And a uh, big shout out to Sinians, uh, Sinians for uh, setting up this new uh, Guilty Gear Attorney Hub Discord gone, server. Um, it's really nice. Uh, if you if you come in and join, we've got a whole bunch of different um, uh, different tournaments that we all run through here. Um, they've all got their you know individual packs. You can kind of load up whatever you want. Um, but let's get let's get back to the action. Yeah, we're getting into the. Yeah. Getting into the match here. Speaking of explosive matchups, uh, sure. I can see this being somewhat yeah. difficult uh, for Venom. Oh, really? that Matt's out. Uh, the neutral definitely goes right, to okay. Venom. I was about to say, like, definitely. It seems like Black will have a really, really tough time getting in on Venom's balls, but we'll see. I mean, right now, certainly things are very much not in Joe's favor. Right. This is a time when Venom's lack of reversal. <laughs> yeah, there's not, there's not a whole lot to say about what's happening right now. Viking is getting her, her stuff going, but Mixer does be able to say, oh no. Wow. He was, able, he was able to burst out and looked like he was able to, he was starting to get something going with the balls, but gets air thrown, that was it. 
So very, very clean game one from Undertow. See if uh, Undertow is out or blood. See if Mixo is able to keep his distance a little more this time. I don't really think Venom wants to be too too close to Biken. Right. Uh, uh, but you can see Undertow playing this neutral very carefully, doing lots of super jumping, uh, double jumps, just playing careful, seeing what Mix is going to commit to. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, what an attack on the air throw. I was going to say it was nice uh, to Tommy to stop the ball zoning there. Tries to, I think that was trying to get the parry, if it didn't. Uh, he got beat up by the air normal. I, don't know if he was I think he was crouching, maybe. This is how it starts. Oh, jump out. Ooh, that was definitely supposed to be an air throw, but it wasn't quite close enough. Oh, blitz. Oh, no. Oh, that's... Oh, that could have been big. Right. But now we've got Mixer in the corner. Did we get the confirm? Mixer has been going for that. Uh... Oh, he tried to air throw. Or ground throw punish, but it didn't work. Oh, tried to air throw the uh, OTG tech, but misses it. And now Ooh. Mixa is able to take the round back. Yeah. Oh, in the flex. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh, man. You gotta do some mental damage. Oh, blocks Ooh, uh, the gold burst. No meter for you. Burst very early. I think... If, I can understand the rationale behind it. This is, you know, game one's the place to try it if you're gonna vet him with a full stick of meters. Absolutely. You'll give Viking a very rough time in neutral. But, right now... He managed to get out of the corner. Sort of both players trying to move around, but Undertow has been very, very good about clipping uh, Mixa and neutral, and that counter hit just leading to a lot of damage from Bike. And this character is very hits hits hard. Yeah, uh, he's doing a great job of confirming off of those counter hits, uh, throwing out a button just in neutral to see what sticks, and then when it counter hits, being able to confirm into a full combo. Uh, very good presence of mind. And still being very careful in the neutral. Oh, nice parries block. the ball. Yeah, this 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 here, the way the way it was going for a little while, is I think what Venom probably wants to be doing here is keep, keeping his distance, controlling the space with his normals, and uh, putting the balls out. Try to keep biking from getting a close advantage. Nice cross-up teleport. Getting, getting the Oki going. Oh no! Counter hit after yeah, the mad struggle. A little, little, little bit of a pink spike on my end when he dropped the combo. I'm not sure if that was just spectator lag or if that was. Wow! Uh, okay. Bit, but nice. Uh, <laughs> the, the... Full combo. Super Ender. Oh, the Hellfire? Is that it? No, that's not gonna no. kill. Yeah, that that thing does like no damage at the end. I see. But it was flashy uh, though. I appreciated it. I'm, I'm being I'm being a, a whack TL. Uh, I, I missed who took one run round one in the end or game one rather. That was Undertow. Undertow. Yeah. Okay. Well, Blocks the mad right. struggle. This time, I th it feels like Mixa is going for the, the like the shooting the ball up like yeah that one there like bouncing off the ground as sort of like an autopilot pressure option and I think Undertow is doing a pretty good job of getting out when he tries to go for it so I think. Right. So it, wanna... it makes sense. Uh, many people want to air tech against Venom, you know, get away yeah. from those great buttons, get away from those balls, and then that ball oh, uh, nice brings them right back to the ground. Nice bait on the blitz, and now leading into a full combo with the Tatami, and that is, should be it if he doesn't drop it. Nice. Undertow so is, with a uh, 2-0. Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, felt like... Mixa couldn't really get the Venom neutral going to, uh, to try to keep biking out, and... She hits hard. <laughs> she hits so hard. And again, Undertow's ability to just take those stray counter hits and confirm it into a full combo that brings you to the corner. And then it's tatami time. And it yeah. can be over real quick. Um, up next, looking like we're going to have Urchin Rumbler versus Aggro Greg. And a hush falls over the room. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our first yeah. look at uh, Urchin Rumbler, actually, who I've never yeah. seen before. We were, we were, I was we were gonna gonna talking about that a little bit uh, before the before we started here. That going to be a new face. We'll see what what he's got to offer. Obviously, Craig, we already saw once. See, uh, 
See if he can keep up the momentum. Uh, just waiting for him to enter the room. It's and just a little Ramblethal player as Mixa with several question marks. Is oh, that speculation? Because I I would love to see some Ramlethal. Um, that character is uh, supposedly been nerfed since Sign. I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I I wasn't playing in Sign, but from what I've been told, she was definitely uh, not that she's weak now, but she was certainly a terror back then. Uh, Chromosome I... hunter. Oh jeez. Yeah, all right, we're about to see Fast versus Ramlethal, which should Pink, be a fun Pink one. Square. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Or all right. Oh, oh nice, uh, hit by round start low. Oh, big homie. Get... The big, the big boy, Oki. Oh, air tech buttons. Gets him out of it. Now he's got the sword set up. Oh, nice overhead. That's the first litmus test for the Ramlethal matchup. That overhead sure. right there. Definitely Ram Ramlethal's character that if you're not familiar with her strings, she can get away with a lot. And I'm not sure how much Agro Craig has played the Ram matchup. We'll see, uh, see if we can get going here. Yeah. Another one of those characters that's not super common, but Agro Craig taking the yeah. first round. Um, yeah, like, not a super common character, but facing a good Ramlethal, uh, you will block for a long time, and you will take a lot of chip damage. For sure. Look at these strings. Oh, yeah. Wow, the corner carry. Yeah, there's and there's gonna be Oki. Like a strong Oki. Oh, wow. tries to dust out, that was very bold, but it doesn't work out for him. Yep. Gets hit by the hard to blockable. That was a, Trying to scout like, for the burst, I think, but Agro yeah. not biting. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, yeah, and a perfect version round two. That's a Ramlethal round right there. That was definitely a Ramlethal round. He got hit into the corner, and that was it. Yeah, that can, uh, that can just happen once those swords are on top of you in the corner. Hammer coming down. Yeah, I think Faust probably has the advantage. Nice dust. Yeah, Ramlethal, Ramlethal has bursts. Has I think Faust probably has the advantage in neutral in this matchup, but definitely if Ram gets her hit, then she can run it. Right. Yeah. Fost's item throw actually kind of uh, despawns or uh, knocks out those sword sets from Lam Ramlethal. So I can see the neutral going to Fost. Yeah. But once you're in the corner, it's, you know, it's anyone's guess how it's gonna go. Oh, uh, Ramlethal hiding over, but uh, teleport. That, that door is working out pretty well for Craig. Oh, nice anti-air with the 5k, probably. Into the full combo into the corner. Not the sword. Open up an overhead sword. I think he's going to have one more guess. Oh, gets the burst wow. baited. That's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's unfortunate. And the first game is yeah, going to ready. go to Urchin. Ramlethal doing Ramlethal things. Definitely. It seems like whenever, whenever Urchin gets can like get a hit, he's probably taking the game, but. Yeah, the set there. play is just so strong, uh, and obviously uh, Urchin has put in some hours in the lab practicing these setups. Sure. Um, wow, look at that! The counter hit yeah, Urchin. We're talking, about, talking about Faust controlling the neutral, but it seemed like uh, Urchin's swords there. Oh, good block really though. A lot of space to move, but yes, right now Craig's defense is incredible. Manages to get out, hits with a scalpel. Oh, we're doing those long. Oh, wow, gets hit out of the teleport. Looks more the sword, yeah. And we're going to see another mix. Oh, we, we already saw the mix. Wow. Ooh. Drops the combo, and now you're getting supered. And what's the setup after that? Big damage that? from Hellfire. Yeah, it's like 50%. 6H. Gets it with the overheads. Oh, the burst. Bird. Oh, and then regular blue okay, burst. Bird. Greg bursting right back. Understandable decision. Uh, oh, check out. wasn't ready for it. Oh. I was oh, surprised you... I didn't, didn't knock down. You can burst a ton against Ramlethal because her combos are always so long that you get you'll get the meter back like every time. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can you can you can see right now fast burst meters. Yeah. 
you get like he started out know, pretty close to being just at the blue burst amount, and now he's almost got it back. Wow, the, that damage from that one combo though, and still gets yeah. opened up again. This won't kill, but it'll be pretty close. And one more mix. Oh, oh. I successfully managed to burst out this time. Urchin working on. Oh, never mind. Gets hit. I was gonna say he's working on another perfect, but Aggro Crag denies that. Gets hit by the teleport. You don't see very often Rem successfully playing the long range game against Faust. His uh, sword and control is very on point, and that's gonna be the rounds and yep. the sets. Urchin takes it. Urchin takes it 2 0. That was an incredibly exciting match. Uh, I think you hit it right on the head. All Ramlethal needed was that one hit into the corner carry, and then it was party time. Yeah, I think uh, Craig did have a few good blocks, but he wasn't really able to... Uh, even when he was able to escape like from the string, he couldn't turn it into anything in a lot right. of situations. Uh, Ramlethal just very difficult to block in general, uh, with the sword that hits overhead and a multitude of options for Ramlethal to hit low and keep you in the corner and, uh, even mid-combo to keep you standing and mix you while she's doing a combo. Yeah, Character is just... Free stand options are very strong from her. Yeah. So looks like now we're getting, uh, Doc versus Branch, which is another PPB classic. Uh, Pot versus Dizzy is very hard for Pot until it's not. <laughs> right, and I guess goes for a lot of, which I guess goes for a lot of Potemkin matchups, but this right. one in particular, Pot certainly struggles in neutral against Dizzy. She has a strong advantage, but if Absolutely. Doc can get the hit, then yeah, all, all, all it takes is one. Yeah, it takes is one gets the uh, Doc down. And here it starts. Yeah, now we're now we're cooking. Oh, catches the back dash two key, but the gold burst. That flick was really nice. It canceled out both the. Uh, like the, you know, whatever the daggers or whatever those are, and the fish. Right. I mean, Doc Buck okay. always has that flick on him. He's always ready with it. He's real good at it. I mean, in this matchup, you certainly got to be. Wow, you know, look at that. That was nice, yeah. Ooh! And just clip branching Safe away jump. now. It's a counter hit. 6k into flick. Hammerfall. We got it. <laughs> Time to guess. Pots in your face. Doc Bok also Doc very Randall. good at just walking forward with a delayed button to catch you mashing or jumping. Backdash Pot Buster, the classic. I guess you have to take my word for it that this matchup's hard for Pot because Doc is certainly not making it look that way. Yep. All right. Like you said, it's hard till it's not. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly... also this is also a Boston classic, right? So these yeah, two players know each other these extremely two players well. Have... And I think in general, like in a situ in a situation where both players know each other's habits very well, that's probably going to favor the grappler player. Yeah. So I think that that might, uh, Doc knowing what Branch likes to go for a lot of the time is going to... Right, and it's also... ...bypass some of those neutral issues he usually has. Nice flick. Again. It's also about the reward on some of these options, right? Like, the reward yeah. Potemkin gets for a hit is not the same oh. reward that Dizzy gets for, you know, anti-airing him or zoning nice him out. Again. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Dizzy's reward for anti airing pots is actually pretty good. But for just zoning, yeah. I mean, it's like in anything. The reward for zoning is. The damage for zoning is usually pretty low. Right. Especially in a game like Guilty Gear where offense is encouraged. Oh, well, you gotta get right, nice, that ass. Nice player, <laughs> but you do have to get a nun ass. French, uh... That's the jam player. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, everyone, bubble's coming. Everyone's gotta get nun ass. Uh, negative penalty exists, you can't stay out of the ass for too long. Nice mix up there, the delayed air dash to, uh, or delayed IAD rather. Just mess up Doc's oh. timing. Gets right. caught, more Oki. Not gonna be it, but it is dizzy setups. Doc does manage to successfully burst out. Ooh, that should be it. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's, a uh, air blocking the pillar with Dizzy's 4S, you're, you're probably just gonna die. That drains so much meter, it's hard to be able to like FD the whole thing. All right, right. Branch very early burst gets hit by the uh, hammer fall. I think that was. Wow, good 5k. Um, Branch definitely playing this neutral very carefully, making sure that Pot just can't 
flick a uh, summon and then go in with Hammerfall. You have to be very careful. I think, uh, I know Branch hasn't played in a little while, it's not necessarily easy to forget that, uh, Pot actually has, the flick is, like, pretty easy to do on reaction versus a lot of branches or a lot of, versus a lot of Dizzy's usual zoning so you have to be kind of creative in your patterns to get around right. that but right now she's got the hit got the Dizzy Yoki oh, oh wow. you can never what jump in his face God. never jump in his face yeah oh my god oh. He's almost dead <laughs> oh my god did he just grab the 2p hurt box yes that was wild back, back dash into throwing the whiff normal that was incredible what a round from Doc! <laughs> oh, it's, it's a counter hand to the knockdown though. This time Branch is getting a run back. Oh, back not dash throw. throw. Back dash throw. And Into the Potemkin. top buster. That was good. Just, that back dash is so good. One of Potemkin's greatest tools, for sure. Oh, I forgot about that! The Dizzy, slide head? Dizzy's, Dizzy's ground dash is technically airborne, so she can run over the slide head. I didn't know that. That's, that's incredible. I forgot about that too. Branch didn't forget. <laughs> Alright, keeping the pressure up with the uh, YRC pillars. But, let's not eventually. Oh, it's the hit. This is probably it. And Branch takes game one. Well, complete reversal of that first round we saw. Um, game, game Branch two. adapting incredibly well. Game two. Game two, yeah. So we're. Well, I mean, all, all of these, uh, all these games rounds have been pretty close, so. Still, so there could certainly be anyone's. Oh, misses the flick! I wonder if the flick. I think like the fish ate the flick there. It didn't look like yeah. the like the flick hitbox went out, but oh, that uh, didn't knock down. Kind of weird. Yeah. Gets the sweep, six k. Oh, expected nice. a burst. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Only expected only extend gets the full knockdown. So I think he went for just the single knuckle and was yeah waiting for a burst and didn't do the full combo as a result. Alright, gets the gets the throw punish on that string. Oh, Ooh. hammer falls right does through not, the pillar. Does not care about the fire pillar, he's going in. Branch Good to idea to burst there. Nice flick. Yeah. Can't, gotta be careful setting up the fish against this character. Nope, he's in. Low nice blitz. low blitz. Air throw. Yeah, Good option. Pot the doc there doing what we were talking about Branch doing in the previous... Uh, like set using the wire C to sort of see where the opponent's going. And back oh, nice back dash pot buster to win the game. Yeah. Doc taking back game dash really paying off for Doc. It's good. Dizzy's Dizzy's gonna IAD at you a lot, and if you can make that whiff, then and toss her. That's the that's the way to do it. So yeah, Doc yep. takes the uh, takes two one. Uh, up next, we're going to have Nuclear Cheese versus Swiggin. Um, Nuclear Cheese, another Boston Blue Beat veteran. Um, this matchup is one of those classic Guilty Gear matchups. Uh, Soul's going to get in, stay in, pressure you. There's going to be Gunflame shenanigans. Uh, with Nuclear Cheese, there's definitely I'll going to be I'll some... Say, with, uh, with Cheese, you really never know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah, he's going for the... Uh... Bandit bringer, but gets hit out of by the by the ball uh, shot there. I'm willing to bet we're gonna see from Cheese at least one or two run up DPS. For sure. Oh, gets the wild. Ooh, this throw. is gonna hurt. Big damage. Gets bursted out. Yeah, yeah, there it is. The run up there DP. There it is. He did it for me. I like to believe that he heard me. <laughs> Grand That's Viper. Bad. That's that's a very uh, cheese maneuver there. Just run up Grand Viper. Sometimes you gotta try it. Nice blitz. Gets hit by dust. Nice wire C uh, gun flame or gun flame wire C into dust. Makes it hard to see the flash. But oh, tries to go for the gold burst, doesn't get it. Yeah, I think Swiggin wants to just play this patiently. That's a nice. Uh, you know, keeping especially Soul, he has a very, very a lot of defensive options available to this character. So you gotta be careful pressuring him. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and nuclear cheese is Swiggin, not Swiggin, afraid Swiggin did, to use them. For sure, Swiggin did a good job there of, uh, you know, making his his pressure, I think, pretty safe by using the balls instead of putting himself vulnerable. But now he's in the corner. Soul pressure is happening. Gets the IV in the air, but wasn't able to punish. 
Oh, but Punisher's the no. pressure after Bandit Revolver. Uh, nice! Ooh, nice IB into uh, probably Far Slash. Yeah, just poke okay, out. Start trying to poke out of the corner here. Yep, there's DP again. That was a good, actually a pretty good situation to use DP in. So not just because it works, but also because he, he is a uh, minus there, expecting a button to be pressed. Right. Ooh, gets him with the, the up ball after. Oh, Ooh, tries to my, this is, oh my god, danger time soul. Be careful. Oh no! Okay. Drops it yep. and gets hit by a stinger. What a terrifying situation for, uh, <laughs> for Venom there. Yeah, definitely. So, so uh, one of those characters in Danger Time that's just like, you, you gotta be very careful. And he was very careful. It, worked, it paid off for him. Right, Swigan was able to take it. Ooh, oh, round, round, round star, star banner banner banner. Banner. The net play special. You love it. Wow. Air dash, DP. She's getting very bold. Gonna bring her again. Yeah. Didn't punish for it that time. I. Uh, I often see Nuclear Cheese do, like, vengeful tactics, where if an option he tries gets blown up, he will use that option multiple times in a row immediately after, just to prove it can work. <laughs> well, the, fl the, flips, the flip side on the Yomi coin there is if they if they punished it once, they might think, okay, now I've he's not going to try it again, I already punished it. Surely he won't ban wow. it for a third time. The second hit of the super didn't come out because of the ball. But now... Uh, Cheese has still got the hit into knockdown in the corner. Soul pressure is happening. Gunflame is happening. Oh, nice JP, IV. such a good er, button. Air dash P uh, gets the throw, and that's it with the RC. Right, these have been close rounds, though. Yeah, it definitely could go uh, anyone's game. Yeah. Dive kick. I think Venom is a character that's pretty good against uh, like Cheese's playstyle because he can play kind of safely and defensively, and that's that's good against Wild Boys. Absolutely, yeah. Blocks the burst, doesn't get a punish, but nice gets throw. a run up throw. Full IAD combo. Oh, Love lockdown. to see it. Sets the ball pretty far uh, behind. I wonder if he was planning on going some for something yeah. and changed his mind. Yeah, Swiggin seems nice. to have adapted to yeah. your Cheese's playstyle. He's play just style. he's just playing. Basically, whatever option would stop Cheese going in is he's what he's doing, and it's working out. He took that game almost to the perfect. Yeah. Uh, nuclear trees trying to get in that ass, and Swiggin saying no. Swiggin saying, "Let's talk about consent." <laughs> oh, nice idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's green, I get it. Nice six p on the air dash. Definitely same thing. We same thing we saw last round. Nice sweep. Uh, Cheese really just isn't getting a chance to get in. Swigan is doing an excellent job keeping him out. Again with the up ball. What a crazy burst. Burst into the DP. You love it. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the adjustment here that Swigan has made. Um, yeah. that, nice. These last two rounds, there. you can see almost... It was like a completely different player was playing. He just completely adapted to Nuclear Cheese's uh, rushdown style and kept him out. For sure. That's definitely what you gotta do against players like Cheese. You just gotta keep it patient. Keep him out. It worked for him. So Swiggin will advance, and we're gonna have Undertow versus Urchin Rumbler. Um, okay, I'm oh. very interested to see how this one goes. Yeah. Uh, from what, I, from what I've seen. Oh, yeah, both of these characters have a very strong Okazeme. Um, I'm very curious about how the neutral's gonna play out. Uh, Biking with her parries. I was gonna say, Biking with parry gives her, I think, some options against uh, against Ram's usual game plan that person's gonna have to think about what he wants to go for on Oki. Yeah, but we're in the corner now, and we're getting mixed. Yeah. Nice block. Nice oh, back dash! But Good. Urchin's, Urchin is still on the initiative. Gets the hit there. Oh, oh he blocked the, the first mix up and not the second. And uh, perfect first round, level, round one. Oh. Merchant. Oh, Undertow trying to do the IAD to Tommy, but gets hit in the face with a sword. Oh. Ram just playing back, very content to just jump back, yeah. set swords. Certainly, how to play the matchup against Biken. She doesn't really have a. Uh... 
Her options at range aren't as strong, so just keeping her out is the goal. But didn't succeed here. Right now. Wow, what a wow. clash! <laughs> <laughs> I I have nothing um, to say but wow. That the clash into the confirm counter hit confirm was uh, insane. Doesn't manage, doesn't manage to escape the corner. Hopefully, uh What was that? Big hit. What a what a counter hit like hits done there. Tries Getting to the scout the burst. the burst. Yeah. Yep. Getting the blitzes, but he's oh it didn't doesn't punish the blitz. Nice parry. Nice baits yep. on the I wonder if he's trying to What are you trying to go for? I don't know, it doesn't matter, he got hit. Undertow bringing three. it back. Yeah. Uh showing that he's not scared of this ram pressure. He can handle it. He can yeah. take it. A good, oh. good block on that on that overhead too. You're talking about before, like that that overhead, the first knowledge check, and on your toes passing it. Yeah, yeah. In the first round, we we saw him backdash it, which was incredible. Nice confirm uh, into the knockdown, and then baiting the blitz with the tatami. Now he's got the hit. Makes a ram burst. Wow, uh, the tatami uh, hitting the swords. I think that was. I think that's it. Yeah. Wow, very, undertow. Very clean round from Undertow. Didn't, didn't really give the Ram a chance to set up at all. And that's uh, how you gotta play this matchup. You can't give Ram time to set up. For sure. If you, if you leave her alone in neutral, then you're gonna... You're gonna pay for it. Let's see what adjustments that are made. Uh, jump back sword. Oh, jump yep. forward sword this time. Uh, uh, jumping around, throwing some swords, throwing some t tatamis. Undertow tries to parry a sword there, I think, but doesn't quite hit. Early burst from Ram, probably for the best. Yeah. Oh, oh tries to throw a projectile, pressure. but unfortunate timing. Yeah, gets cut by the sword, and now. Oh. Undertow also bursting out. Trying to get in. The Ooh! Air parry, unfortunately. Oh, that would have been a sick read if the follow up had hit, but. Nice Good blocks angle. from Undertow. The defense uh, on both of these players nice. is incredible. For sure. Undertow making incredible yeah, use of that he parry. He is trying very hard to get the parry. Fortunately, it's not really uh, working out for him, but that jump D was. Nice dust. Good. All right, getting getting the knock. Oh, not quite anything to knock down. I'm not sure if uh, Biken has a knockdown from that height, maybe. Just run up low. Yeah, got a burst there. Got a burst. All right. Well, you could save it for the next round, but he thinks, I guess he confident in his ability to take it back. Ooh, nice oh. parry! Hunter has been fishing for that parry all around and finally gets it in phase off for him. Yeah. Undertow to... says it's not about the size of the sword, it's how you use it. Oh, Ocean gets hit out of Tatami. Clipped by the low counter hit, I wonder what Undertow was going for. But now he's taking a lot of damage. Gonna be into the setup, see if he can block. Tries to low parry, but it was a high. First out. Gets thrown. Nice throw. Full combo. Like in another one of those characters that can nice uh, combo and throw. I wow. think he's he done that before too, and it's worked most times. Like reading the air tech into the right. again into the grappling hook. Is that it? Oh, he drops it. Oh, oh gets the stun. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So Undertow noticing that Urchin likes to tech out buttons uh, and calling out that habit in a very deadly way. Uh, so Undertow going to move on. Too, yeah. Oh, he took the square. He stole that's the, the pink ultimate square. robbery. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blood feud for next tournament. Yes. Oh, I love storylines. Mm, the quest for the pink square. Yeah, Biken definitely, I think, is a character that generally has a. Uh, is considered to be sort of weaker and neutral because of. Uh, you know, she's kind of a little sluggish moving around the screen, but. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Undertow is very good about moving around. We're going to back into the next game, though. We got Doc versus Wigan. Another matchup that I think Pop probably has a rough time in. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know it personally. I don't play either character, but I can imagine this is not a fun time for the grappler. But Doc is not having any of those bad matchups and is getting right in there from the start. I don't think oh, Doc Pop believes in bad matchups. 
I think if you're going to be a pop player, you can't. Yeah. I just want to call really quick attention to the fact that the, the ball went over his head, and then he did hammerfall, and the ball hit him from behind and took the piece of hammerfall armor. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. how Potemkin's hurt boxes work, but that's, that's wiggity whack. He's a big guy. Oh, nice, uh, oh, not quite, I was gonna say nice hammerfall yeah. wire. See, I thought he was gonna get the hit there, but enough hits from Venom, able to break the armor, and Swiggin takes round one. Yeah. Swiggin doing a good job of scouting out the hammerfall with lots of quick, uh, hitting moves. Backdash is out of there. Oh, hates the oh. burst. Drops his combo, though, doesn't get the knockdown. Got Doc's turn. Gets scooped, though. Yeah, PRC. And again, 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 the wire, the well, not YRC in that situation, but the RC slow down the current situation and air throwing him to the ground. Classic guilty yeah. gear move, or guilty gear excerpt move at least. Yeah, it's a very strong option for every character in the cast just to have an oopsie button every time you have some meter. I think, uh, I think that for that the, the uh, Doc was trying to throw and good delayed air dash from Swiggin to beat it, but. Doc coming down. The button beats the anti air, and that's round two to Doc. Oh, round start star hammer ball. He's going in. He's going in again. And again. Mega Fist gets punished, and now you're in the corner against Venom. It's going to be a bad time. Yep, in, the, in the corner combo into big damage into balls on him. Oh, chip block, damage. Block it out. Yeah, Doc, Doc, Doc actually, usually pretty Doc content actually, to block. Uh, is, I think he was. Must have been I being a lot of that because his risk gauge was huge. Watch the that gold thing. burst. I think trying to air throw or something or gets the throw uh, block I being to throw. Sorry. RC combo drops it. Not quite. Let's Only see what Swiggin can do. One more pixel to close it out. Let's see if Swiggin can take advantage. Nope. Oh, but two P out. What you know about a bar, eh? How fast is Pots two P? That is a question a, for someone who knows that. frame data. Yeah. Check dust loop after, maybe. In any case, uh... I'm a jam player, I don't believe in frame data. <laughs> Round start back oh. there. Ooh. Nice, again, the RC, uh... To confirm the teleport, but it wasn't able to get the throw this time. Ooh. I love watching BBB. I've never seen so many early gold bursts in my life. <laughs> Doc Bok, big fan of them. I think a lot of the situation. I was actually talking about this earlier uh, with Branch before this tournament. Maybe, yeah, it was. Uh, like a lot of matches, especially versus like Venom. If you have full meter, it's a lot easier to get on him. And like versus a character like this, like if you get in, then you can probably seal the deal. But you just really can't let him play his game for too long. So I can understand versus Venom specifically wanting oh, to uh, early gold burst, get that meter, give yourself a chance to get in. Right. I mean, like we've been saying this whole time, Guilty Gear is, uh, a lot of these characters are all about the momentum. And if you can get something started, then it's, you can seal the deal. Uh, speaking of getting things started, looking like Doc Bach is being kept out. Not allowed to get started this time. Uh, and Swiggin gonna take the round. 2 like is 6 frame startup. Closer than it seemed because of how much damage Bot can do, but... That was definitely Swiggin was able to keep control of the neutral most of that round. And again, just uh, setting setting the balls out, throwing the normals out, trying to stay defensive, but yeah. Slidehead does get him knocked down and now try again tries to wire C read the teleport with a throw but doesn't get it. He does get this pot buster though. Oh, gets hit by the overhead. Meaty six K. Oh, pokes out of the hammer fall yeah, pokes out of the way, yeah. Hooks out of the hammerfall or break, yeah, hammerfall break. Gets hit low. Yep, was probably uh, afraid of getting scooped, which very real threat. Um, after getting hit by Slidehead, it's all Potemkin. It's he's got the advantage oh, for sure. Trash for the pop buster, but Swiggin sniffs it out and jumps. I wonder if that what that Trishula was for. Maybe it's uh, some like eat the balls from the from Close the up fire a jump into. That's true. Oh, goes tries to go for the mass struggle, but gets hit out of it. 
You know, ready with the flick, but right, swinging yeah, not quite right. Trying to, try to flick these balls. Doesn't work out for him. Now he's in the corner. Nice gold burst. Oh my again. goodness. Oh, and gold burst. Gold burst back. Turn. Oh, he is trying so hard to hit that. But and I'm not really giving Doc much of a chance to play right now. Yeah. Nice fast struggle. So we can say and hold that. Yeah, he's, he's in a rough spot. He's gonna get chipped out. Oh, nice! Wow. Again, the, the, the wire seed confirmed situation, the air throw, but... Oh! Gets air thrown himself. Swiggin does it back, the wire seed air throw. Because I can do that too. Now we're 1-1. One, one. Both players he's, uh, struggling. Not um, struggling, even. Oh, we got the teleport into pressure. Yeah, Swiggin is looking pretty comfortable, all things yeah. considered. Setting set, like so, setting this sort of slow ball moving and then approaching on it because Pot is going to have a hard time evading it. So working out pretty well for him. Delayed match struggle. Got the, the jump wire C from Pot. Oh, run under. Good option. Oh, nice backdash Pot Buster. Now you time to guess. Pop Buster oh. again. Give me another. One, one more. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, I'm going to get the button. Which was yeah. the right option. It seemed like Swiggin was yeah. maybe trying to jump out there. He was probably, he was almost certainly trying to jump out there. <laughs> oh, gets counter hit by the ball. Swiggin oh, definitely. Love KD. Teleports out of the corner. Yeah, Setting up careful. balls. Oh, slide head, though. Careful moving in, I think. You know, versus pop for sure. Moving, moving forward, you gotta, you gotta make sure that's you're getting something out of it. Right. Closing, closing the space recklessly against this character can cost you. But right now, he is successfully uh, stopping Scout? Doc's attempts to try to hammer fall in. Not that one though. Hammer fall break into pop buster. Safe jump. I did see Swiggin scout the uh, the backdash with a particular Ooh. ball setup, so I I'm excited to see him do mo that more. Um, but unfortunately, well, doesn't, wait for isn't able time, to do in time. Yeah. yeah, that was a, I, also that that last safe jump, or is I assume it was a safe jump. I think it was like it, it counter hit, so it didn't matter that it was a cross up. But I think that was a cross up. That was pretty good. Uh, incredibly fun matchup to watch. Uh, a lot of back and forth. Um, we didn't see anyone just get set played to death, which I'm sure is what Doc Bach wanted to do. <laughs> well, he was, he was getting a lot of... Uh, I mean, he doesn't have to make very many right reads to do a lot of damage with it very when you're true. playing Temkin after you got your hit anyway. Mm -hmm. There was one round that was essentially just two pop busters at uh, <laughs> JS. Yeah. You know what, actually? That's all you need. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in real quick. Um, we're going to do uh, Losers Round 4. Uh, All right. On stream, so I'm gonna do a quick little shuffle, and Ooh. hold up, Swiggin and Craig, on stream. All right. Yeah, we're gonna give uh, we're gonna give Doc and Undertow a little minute before they play Winners Finals. Um, and the menacing pose from Undertow in the lobby. Oh, you want? I should leave then. I do desire. All right. Kicking people out. I'm gonna miss these lobbies and strive. I'm just thinking about like the <laughs> don't send me the Brazil. I, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about the strive lobbies. It gets me mad every time. Did you say Brazil? <laughs> She's going to Brazil. I mean, I mean Giovanna's from Brazil. Is that why we're talking about Brazil? On the undertoes, questing not to be sent to Brazil. Oh, oh. Help, I've been. Oh, don't send me. Okay, okay. All right, I get it now. Um. All tracks. You're gonna make me live this hell on stream, Craig. I'm sorry. I mean, we cannot. I, I believe in the foul. Craig has been Craig has been running the friggin' Venom Gauntlet. I've just <laughs> noticed. Like, I mean, like you said, we got we got a lot of Venoms in this bracket, so yeah. 
Person. It's back Strong Venom, dude. And, and, and during this tournament, is running the Venom Bracket. That's true. Or running Venom Gauntlet. Yeah, rare foot. I actually don't really, I don't really know how the Faust versus Venom matchup match plays out. I haven't seen this one too often. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, already That's a strong right. start. Aggro Cat getting a throw. 6 H, but Swiggin blocks it. Uh, it turns out, Ooh, uh, if you good. show them enough times, uh, people are starting to get used to that uh, 6H meta from Aggro Crag. <laughs> oh, burst. Now you're in the corner. Burst. Oh, but blocks and, the and rising and JK. Nice. Late overhead. Opens him up. Run up Run throw. Up throw. Oh. oh, good teleport. I was going to say, as low surprise, you didn't charge the ball. Seems like a lot of characters. A lot of Venom players like to do that in that situation. But. Gets hit coming, coming down. With the teleport. Aggro Frag can still bring this back. The homie's coming. And two, two mini Fausts in a row. Oh, this is a bad Where spot. Ian. Oh, 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 he tries to go over there and block a little, but doesn't. Yeah, not close enough. That would have worked too. I thought that move was uh didn't have a whip animation, but. And we're seeing it again. We're back in the corner. Yep. 6H. Definitely going my way. Another 6H into a YRC into a low. Nice. 6H! 6H! Wow. <laughs> I mean, well, the thing is also, like, that situation he did 6H every time, but he was able to keep pressure off the 6H and it would actually lead him into a hit in a lot of situations. So just because you yeah. know the 6H is coming doesn't mean you're getting out. Right, and of course, nice, nice wire C teleport or teleport wire C into the unblockable. Yeah, and Aggro Craig likes to mix up the options, like with the YRC six H, and has multiple options off of that. Uh, one of the things I love about Guilty Gear is because of the Roman cancel system, you can turn any situation into a multi-layered approach and make uh, kind of build on each situation to really fill your opponent's mental stack with all of these different options. Fast. Yeah, it definitely gives you uh, a lot of creativity in the RC system. Uh, Aggro Craig making good use of it. More bomb bags. Oh, we got the fishing pole. Oh, man. another duck. Faust's dust being invincible, of course, so he's able to use it uh, as sort of a counter poke, also. Wow, J2K. Oh, it to come, unfortunately. Gets hit. Now the ball is Oki. You get more Oki. Oh, oh but nice, nice jab out of the mass struggle. Yeah. Bombs there, careful. Oh, gets oh. counter hit. And round one goes to Craig. That's a very chaotic matchup. It, yes, definitely. Uh, both characters with teleports, both characters that can throw projectiles that can appear in many different parts of the screen. Uh, it's chaotic is a good word. Um, gets the pull. And both, but... both of them also kind of feel like characters that have similar game plans, like trying to you know throw projectiles from a distance and use strong normals as pokes to start right. pressure. So. Uh, Faust with a definite advantage in some of the normals, but Venom with a much more versatile set of projectiles. Not just versatile, but also more consistent, because you you already know what's going to come out when you shoot a ball. Faust is right. throwing an item. You know, and then has to react. Spoke, but could be not, yeah. yeah. Alright, Faust with burst there. Gets the throw. Gets the throw We're in the corner. corner. Oh, bursts There's out of the unblockable. I think, I think Craig likes doing a 6H and then YRC the startup. Oh, yes. We've seen it in every match so far. Oh, uh, very there. strong option. Counter hit teleport. The oil's coming down. Uh, not something I've seen get a lot of use in these matches so far. It kind of just hangs out. Both of these characters Ooh. very mobile. You can't get a combo off that because of the, uh, the bounce pad. That was fortunate for aggro, Craig. Oh, the blitz, blitz. Blocks. You thought you were plus? Nah. And now we got round three, or two, sorry. Oh, gets oh, hit, hit by his own bomb. bomb, you hate to see it. 
It was a wild type round one, I totally understand. <laughs> the homie's coming. Don't forget about the homie. He's got the, got the delay, delayed Oki here, as long as he can the homie. long enough. You gotta be careful with those hammers too, he's close to right. stun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another mini Faust. And the whole gang Craig, is out Craig full definitely, force. definitely uh, getting lucky with the item tosses this round. Another mini Faust. They're coming. The boys are coming. Nice uh, evasion. Oh, tries oh, to get the. Uh, I'm not I sure. That, that didn't seem like it was a spacing issue. It might have been he was still in block stone. So uh, you can you can duck it kind of, and I think oh. that's, I think that's what he did. It looked like he was crouched. So it, it, right. since it's not a it's not an actual grab, it's like a weird a weird hit grab. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, like, it can, it can whiff, like, totally, like, you can, it, it's got a, it's got a hitbox, and you can, you can crouch it. I think he got, I, I don't really remember now, but I think he got counter hit out of it, too, so it could have been, I know Venom has a lot of moves that can get him pretty low to the ground. Round start, dust. Round start, dust. Yeah. He beats Pope. Real apple so bottom. My way. Situation. Gets him out of the corner yeah. there, but he's still getting pressure up. Oh, Meteor's coming. Meteor. Big oh. Meteor. Oh, oh, that hurt. Has to burst, but still gets hit, and they're perfect from Craig. Mm. Craig's, Craig's, read, Craig's reads on the round start have been extremely good. Yeah. He's gotten the first hit on the round start like most of these rounds, regardless of the eventual outcome of the round itself. I, I've talked about it on stream before, but Aggro Craig really loves the jump back J2K option because of the way it retracts Faust's hurt box. It's a very strong option, uh, especially at round start, it seems. Yep. Get that blitz attack. Just set some balls. Get the balls coming, yeah. Yep. He gets it by the low. That's round two. Yeah, Venom also oh, really. really a little, a little earlier there, uh, Craig had tried to do the dust again, uh, but I think Spigen's getting a little more comfortable with how fond Craig is of that option. But, works for him this time. Gets the hit into the corner again. Another more home. Oh, whiffs the JH, but is able to land and throw anyway. Back Teleport from above. Teleport YRC. But Swiggin is not faced. House coming down with a very pretty slow fall, and then the dust again, man. That reversal Craig, dust Craig, has been working Craig out is, for him. is very fond of this dust for sure. And it has been working, even though uh, Swiggin has been successfully played a couple times, it's working more than it's not, so. Yeah. But right now, doing a pretty good job keeping him at bay, blocks the teleport, but the RC lets him keep up pressure and doesn't block the next overhead. And Swiggin going in, but Aggro Craig says, time to burst. You can Grab stay in the, the corner. Grab out of the corner, burst to keep him in there, but... Swiggin gonna take it. Swiggin gets the hit. Wow, that was amazing. Like, actually, I, I, love was, I was, like, that. fully, fully clenched for almost all of that. That was rad. Really fun matchup to watch. Absolutely. Um, all right, now we got Branch versus, uh, Urchin. I... Do not know much about how this matchup usually goes, but I know that Branch doesn't like fighting Ramothal very much, so... Yeah, I can see this being <laughs> very difficult for Dizzy. Uh, the neutral probably could go either way, but Dizzy with no real yeah. reversal options outside of metered options... Yeah, it... a, lot of the, a lot of it is, like, Dizzy kind of relies on uh, not losing neutral because of her defensive options being pretty weak, and I think that Ram's answers to Dizzy's neutral options are pretty good. Yeah, but we'll right now, out. right now, Branch is certainly controlling the neutral extremely well. Oh, really not giving, edge. really not giving Urchin a chance to get anything going. Yeah, uh, making good use of his movement, but gets caught, yeah. uh, not FDing in the air, unfortunately. And now we're in the corner. It's opened up high, blocks the burst. This is going to be a good grip of damage into another mix-up. No restand mix today. Yeah, it doesn't get to mix this time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Branch dashes out of the corner, but gets clipped into another very long Rainbow Thaw combo. Gets hit by the overheads, and that is it for round one. Yeah. 
Uh, Ramlethal just very oppressive. Even when she whiffs, she can nice, continue 16. those strengths. Uh, oh, gets hit by the fire bubble. Oh, danger, danger time. time. Here we go. You do not want to get hit by Ram in danger time. Nice oh. sweep. Does Branch he actually started. Can get like a full combo off the sweep with the danger time there, but wasn't ready for it. Oh, nice, nice. confirm off the ice pillar. Now we get the good. She gets the good Oki off the setup. Catches the Blitz Shield and oh, gets the overhead, Ooh. instant overhead. Bl blocks the Urshan blocking the fuzzy though is really good. Like it's clipped by the Ice Spear. Yeah, it's so, so far this really matchup has uh, so far this match has just been who can get their messed up Oki yeah, off first. For sure, I think that's where how this matchup uh, is going to go most of the time. Branch was saying earlier that like she thinks that uh, Ram probably plays the most similar to Dizzy out of everyone in the cast, so. I think these characters do have pretty similar game plans and also pretty similar levels of oppression once they get their hit. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think the damage potential for Ramlethal oh. quite a bit higher. Or at well, least consistently it, higher. Dizzy can get high damage, Dizzy, but it's... Dizzy with meter can get a lot of damage, but right now she's not getting a lot of damage. It's stunned into death. That was definitely a Ramlethal round. PM. <laughs> Not too much you can say. You get you get hit by Ram and you're in the corner. You better you, know, you don't guess right. It's gonna be over pretty quickly. Uh, Branch looking to make some fun pressure of his own. Maybe make Urchin guess a little bit. But unfortunately, we are in the corner again, and Urchin oh is able to confirm off that. What is happening? I got desynced again. I'm still like right on my screen. I'm still waiting for Urchin to hit rematch. This is annoying. Oh no, we're in there. We're we're halfway through another Ramlethal round. Okay. I'm gonna restart my game again. It seems like it's always Urchin's games too. I don't really know why. Good first. Classic, classic oh. Urchin move. Actually, no, I say that, but now I'm thinking about it more. I think it was um, Source last time that I disconnected during. So maybe it's just it's just something on my end. I'm not sure what. Let's try it again. Well, Urchin took the first round pretty quickly, but gets thrown by Branch, who gets a full confirm. Yep, Blackbeat combo doesn't get the knockdown. Oh, are we going to the corner? Are we going all the way? I'm gonna we be, are. That's just so impressive to me, being able to land those micro dash combos on net play and everything too. That's that's dedication. Did you know this character was nerfed? Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, yeah, super hard. Yeah. As 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 a uh, as hard as it might be to believe, this character was definitely much stronger in Sonic. Yeah, she used to be wicked busted. There wasn't. I oh. think one of the biggest things was that the swords not being able to be hit. It was just right. like a really, very little counterplay to her setting the swords out. And she kind of just owned the neutral. And that's it. Now you have more tools to do it. Yeah. yeah. Very quick round. Uh, Ramlethal, her super is very, very good at taking out people who are low on health, kind of mm. circumventing the gut system. Yep. Um, very strong at closing out rounds. So, uh, Urchin going to move on. And up next, we have Undertow versus Dockbok and Winner's Finals. Graham actually has a lot of... Uh, I think her supers are on the better end of the spectrum as far as like overall strength and utility. She's, she's got some good ones. Oh, sure. I mean, and, and so so the kicker with Ramlethal, right, is that she does... She only builds meter off of her sword specials. So, you know, that's that's part of why, you know, if you're able to keep the swords locked down, she has such a hard time building meter, um, which is why the return for those supers is also really tight. Right. So, you, can lock a, you can lock a ram down, and it's just it's brutal. But... Uh, now we're in it. Undertow's got those PS4 colors. Mm. For maximum edginess. Yeah, those. Uh, it, it looks great. I'm going to be real honest. The, the PS Plus colors, whatever... Those things look. Those, uh, those are the, the blue and whatever ones. Yeah, the blue and the yeah. the blue and black that have like the usually glow swords and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it's it looks, very clean. It looks tight. Uh, this is definitely also a Boston classic, uh, a Blue Bee classic too. We see you play a ton. Yeah. Undertow, kind of putting the boots to Doc Bok right now, but Doc Bok able to punch out. Oh, Mega Fist over the projectile, but gets counter hit. Oof, if I can get caught up here. Going into the second round. Uh, what's the round start? Just 2p and then walk back. Doc Bok not trying to be overcommittal. 
Uh, but back dashes into a throw. Hammerfall break jumps out of the pop buster. Uh, the Tsunami, uh, a great option in most matchups. Um, can Potemkin flick the Tatami? It's a projectile. Yes. I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah. It is a projectile. Oh, tries to hammer fall through the pressure, but does not work. Wow. Wow, that was good presence of mind for Undertow to realize that he had whiffed and then immediately go into a JP and confirm the combo. Uh, very clean first game from Undertow. Let's see what kind of adjustments Doc Bach is going to make in this next game. Uh, just blocking him out. No problems here. We're in the corner. Tries to hammer fall through pressure again. Is not finding purchase with that option. Ooh, walk up pot buster doesn't work. Uh, Blitz shield into a low. Yeah. Undertow is hungry. Undertow wants to get back. Oh, parries. Yeah, this is going to be an uphill battle for Doc Bok to take this round back. Oh, wow. Great job on the heat knuckle. Uh, the hard reads. Everyone loves when grapplers make those hard reads, but Undertow just runs up, hits him with a low confirm into Tatami, and takes the round. I think I'm finally caught up here. I just saw the low Tatami closing out the round one. Oh, gets counter hit when trying to do slide head. Tatami on top does not block, baits the burst. Oh, baits burst. Okay, yeah, now, now I'm finished. Catching up here. Perfect. Nice jump, peas. It's the Tommy YRC pressure. Uh, slide heads out. Great. Nice Slash into Pot Buster. Set play. Let's go. Oh, burst. Oh, <laughs> burst whiffs. What an unfortunate place to burst. Let's bring it back. One more. Oh, nice. Able to mash out the Pot Buster and. Uh... Yeah. Instant overhead. Nice. And this nice, is uh, it. TK, whatever that move's called. Oh, Whoa. not quite it. Oh, drops it. No. But I was able to hit him. With the wire seat to Tommy again. Oh, it's a is it three out of five because of winners finals? Yep, three out of five in winners finals. All right. All right. Oh. Doc Bach with the early burst. Yeah, you definitely. Backdash a slide head. Even the guy as healthy as Potemkin doesn't want to take too many hits from a Viken, so. Oh, it tries uh, to make the, the read with the heat knuckle again, but doesn't jump this time. Oh, that's a big Undertow, counter Undertow hit. also trying to make a big read with the anti here, like grapple chain, and doesn't uh, work out for him either. But, oh. it's the base of backdash, got the hit. Right. Tatami is a strong down. option, because it'll meaty and then also catch even Potemkin's backdash with all of its iframes. Um, that Tatami has been putting in work for this whole set, really locking Doc Bok down. I think Pot also being so tall is giving Viking a lot of overhead options she doesn't usually get. Yeah. The rising overheads have been really hurting. Uh, right. And we're in Tatami Yoki. Out of hit, yeah. Tatami, tatami on Tatami. Time, blocks it out. Gets, Gets the slide head. head. Nice block on the cross up, though. We're Get in, we're in the corner. Hand block slide heads. Pot's still coming in, but. Undertow has uh, not fallen for the Hammerfall Break Pot Buster once. Uh, yeah, and there it is again. Yeah, there it is again. You're just uh, talking about it. It's open low. Gets grabbed. It's grabbed. Undertow's pressure is looking mighty scary. And that's uh, good grip damage, even on Potemkin. Blocking out these Tommies, but. Wow. Not really able, able to get find a chance to breathe and does get event, opened up eventually. Can't block forever. So Undertow is going to move on to Grant. Yeah. And Definitely Doc a very strong, strong showing from him today. Absolutely. So is this Losers Finals next or are we not quite there yet? Uh, or no, sorry, it wouldn't be because... Uh, yeah, yeah we've got be Losers loser semis. semis. Semis, yeah. So we've got Urchin Rumbler versus Swiggin.
Um, Swiggin uh, moved to the losers bracket uh, pretty recently against uh, Doc Bok earlier, trying to get that run back. I'm sure. But Urchin, this matchup seems like it'll be pretty interesting. I think right. Venom probably has a pretty easy time fusing the uh, the swords. So we'll see if Ramping anything started. It does get the overhead, but gets bursted out. Right. Uh, Urchin, kind of unpredictable being a name and nice player block. we're not super familiar with, but coming out swinging just incredibly strong. Um, great set play, great conversions from stray nice hits. Block. So we can definitely be ready for that overhead though. He, he has not got opened up by that. Uh, he hasn't gotten opened up overhead by that string yet. The one time he did get hit by it, it was a counter hit. So I think he was trying to do something to evade. Oh, I say that. Commentator's curse. I'm sorry, Swigan. You hate to see it. Um, is this death? It's, oh, I, I believe it's death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, you talked about earlier. Super. That, that super pretty much just ignores guts and kill you quickly, even at low health. Yeah, so characters with multi-hit supers them. definitely uh, at an advantage towards the end of rounds. So now, now we're getting now we're getting into the level two uh, level two rim options, making some reads to get around the person blocking high there. I think the first time he's trying to bait a fuzzy, the second time he just went low and it worked out. IAD counter hit doesn't get it a conversion. Just running in, but gets hit. Uh, and this is going to be the corner again, into mix. Let's see, we're going high-low. High. Low. high. Oh, it's hit by the high, and that's probably it. Got the, Got the super again. Yeah. Oh, trying to scout the burst. Yep. Tried to scout it, and Swigan did patiently wait till it would work, but gets clipped by the low, and that's round or game one. Sorry for Urchin. Yeah, not really able to get anything going. Uh, the sword's kind of stopping Venom from getting set up too, as long as Venom can't destroy them. Yeah, but a strong round start. Uh, able to 6P ram out of the sky and get some balls Ooh. set up. We're doing a great job of jumping up and just using JP to knock down the sword setups, but gets caught is to that, the corner. Is and, that move uh, where she like, she almost looks like struck the big tree, like coming forward, is that low profile? too, because it seems like he's using that a lot to sort of approach and maybe try to get through some of Venom's pokes in the mid-range. It does seem that way. Um, I'm not sure if it has the low-profile property, or if it just kind of does some funky, wonky hurtbox stuff, but yes. definitely using it to great effect. The Ram has that, that slide we're talking about, that that does, yeah, yeah that thing goes mad low. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah it's... it's Unsafe on block, I want to say. I tried to pick it up ramp for a hot minute, so I know like two things. Oh, <laughs> danger time! Danger, danger time! It's gonna be rough for whoever one gets hit, yeah. But, uh, Urchin pretty content wow. to play this safely, but Swiggin gets I think the that, I think that he clashed with the swords in the air there and then gets the, gets the counter hit uh, in the mad struggle because of all the hits, the mortal counter doesn't really do much for him. Oh, with oh, the 6 unfortunately. Nice blocks. Wow, that oh, pressure that spring. Was, that was smart. That was the, and that's the round. Why, PR seeing the overhead to open him up low, that was... That was good. Yeah. Urchin real comfortable on offense. Yeah. He's also doing a, lot, a good job of, uh, like, after he's establishing, okay, the, you know, the level 1 of Squeakin will block this and mixing up his options. Uh, he's doing a very good job of varying his offense. And it's, again, working out for him. He's going to get the mix up here. Wow, the low. low this time. I did not see that. <laughs> that was even that was a little tricky, too, because he did like a little hop before the low, too. Definitely clicking overheads. It's the burst. Oh, Air we throw. get thrown. Now we get okay. good OD. All the way to the corner. And all the Locked. chips, too. Rough situation for Venom, for sure. But, oh, he was, I was going to say he was bravely blocking it out, but... And Urchin gonna it's take it. 2-0. Uh, yeah. We're gonna move into Grand Finals with Urchin. Uh, losers, losers Finals, I think. Losers Finals, my bad. Uh, Doc, Doc gets another chance. Yeah. Urchin versus Doc. And I don't think these two have played yet. This'll be uh, interesting. 
Oh, they were on uh, opposite sides of the bracket. So, yep. so this is now a... Uh, Doc wants the run back on Undertow from Winner's Finals. And, and Urshan wants the run back from, uh, from semis. round four with Undertow, yeah. yeah. Both, these, both these guys been the losers by Undertow. Uh, this is another Let's one of those matchups that I could see being an absolute nightmare for nightmare Potemkin. For yeah, yeah, I can I would imagine too. He doesn't really have any he doesn't really have anything that seems like it would let him get rid of the uh get rid of the swords and if she can keep him up versus pot, he really is will have a very difficult time moving around. So we'll see yeah. what happens. But yeah, like you said, I can I can imagine this being right. very miserable and for him. The swords I don't believe count as projectiles, so he can't flick them. And we're so seeing he's kind of like, just got to hold it. Yeah, we were just talking about he... Ooh, gets the lucky counter hit, though. But man, those swords look such a miserable time for Pot. <laughs> right. They are one single big hit, so he may be able to hammer fall through hammer them, fall. but then yeah. that if Ramathal wants to call that out, she certainly can. Yeah. He tries to flick there. I'm not sure what he's expecting, but it wasn't What's what the next? Urchin did, which is the air dash. Nice dead angle. Might be able to get something going here. Oh, whiffs the, the backdash in into the low to beat the pot buster. Now, pot Man. is a pretty healthy guy, so he won't be able to kill in that hit, but this one should be. This is it, yeah. yeah I got a Ram going to Urchin. One of the things that I do think is really cool about uh, about Ram and some of the other characters is I, I love when characters are able to work uh, dust and like homing dust bits into combos. Into I just combo. think that's really cool. Um, yeah. And I like that that's one of the things that it looks like we might see a little bit more of its drive, too. Oh, oh, rough, rough bait. But but just as a, from a, from a TL yeah. perspective, yo, I, I love that. That always gets me hyped. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I, yeah. Oh, gets hit by the second overhead. I just see like Doc's, Doc's having such a hard time moving around the neutral with the swords. I don't really know what Pot would even do here. Gets hit by the instant overhead. And that's probably it. I think Just ram with all things. He's gonna get the meter from this. Oh, he doesn't need it even. It's a quick game from quick game. Uh, Urchin. I wonder Urchin what the, I wonder what the uh, adjustment here is. I think, like you said, maybe if he can hammer fall through because the swords being only one hit, that might be his chance. But all right, but it's such a committal option Ooh, unless you have meter. throw. That was. Oh, you oh, can, can flick the sword. The sword. Okay. That's neat. Oh, JP's that sword set down, but unfortunately has to block. Oh, backdash, but doesn't able to. Flick right, the sword go, set gets, again. Gets the hammer fall through the sword as, as well. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh, but here we go. It's party time, but drops the combo. Go tries to go for the slide head, but she is in the air. Definitely, uh. Oh, it does get the other about to say, carving. Uh, Urchin is jumping a lot. Urchin's spending a lot of time in like air dashing around with the swords, so trying not to give Doc a chance to use slide head, I think. Or maybe just her air normals are better. Versus pot. Oh, oh my it's own. first. That's probably it. Yeah. So Sarge, Sarge has given us the heads up, by the way, uh, in the chat. Um, you can flick the swords, um, but you only get the fire if you flick it during the actual sword attack, like that, right there. Oh, wow. Uh, as opposed that takes some bravery. Yeah, if you that's what you have to flick. If you flick just a little dude, you get nothing. But if you flick the actual attack, then it, it is still counts as a projectile. Okay. Right. But if you get counter hit by the sword instead, <laughs> it's a bad time. So the uh gotta commend the commitment to that option. Wow, that cross up was dirty. Blocks, Blocks the overhead. The overhead. Good slide this head. Great poke. See alright. Yep. Now it's Recognizing. Potemkin. That's Potemkin time. Might really get something going. Nice block. Uh, Doc Box starting to catch on to how much Urchin likes to jump out uh, rather than kind of sit and block. Oh no. Oh. Gets the, the hard bait in the burst. Or maybe not a hard bait. I don't know. Jump cancel. But right. either way, so, the burst was Urchin up. That's yeah, game Urchin two. Up to oh. We're going to see. need to see Doc Box turn it around real quick. Ooh, Red Delta's in here saying that you can uh, buster the overhead from Ram. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's see if, uh, incredible. Let's see if let's oh, see if Doc busts yeah. it out. Pop going going for the gold burst here. 
like we were talking about before, if he has the meteor neutral, maybe he can get through this wall of swords he doesn't have to deal with. Oh, the backdash, but uh, Rishan reads it. Delta saying all strings can be bustered, which is exciting. Um, just gotta find your moment. Uh, yeah, instant block, uh, buster, a very strong option for Potemkin in a lot of these tough matchups. Uh, let's see if Doc pulls it out. Oh, he tries to trish the sword, but it doesn't work out for him. We're gonna mix. Oh, we're just going damage this time. Okay, not, not getting the restand this time, but it's opened up by the low. Uh, yeah, he has to burst there. Version that the meteor could have killed. Now it's oh, oh reversal super. Reversal super. That's probably it. Yeah. Now we're on match and point for Urchin. Doc Bach on the struggle bus, but he is not giving up. Goes again for the Hammerfall Break, Pot Buster. Um, Urchin seems to be scouting that option, always wanting to jump out of the pressure. Anytime he sees Hammerfall, he immediately up backs. Gets opened up Doc, low. Doc can take advantage of it, might be able to do a break into a low or something like that, break into Heat Knuckle. But he's not giving much of a chance to breathe this round again. Nice! Right there. Iron Head Fire Slash into the Heat Knuckle. Might be able to get something going here. At the very least, he's uh, has a short reprieve from the swords. But not for too long. Had to burst. Did not want to deal with the Ramlethal pressure. But we're in the corner now, and she's got meter. Even with Potemkin's help, yeah, this might be This it. might be dead, yeah. Oh, he's choosing to go for the... Uh, another mix-up, it's like. And yeah, this looks like... Oh, there it is, yeah. Right. Uh, that's going to be a very bad situation with the Sword Oki anyway. And that's 3-0 for Urchin. Yeah. Moving back up to Grand Finals against Undertow. See if he can get a run back here. Boy, that looked unpleasant for Pot. <laughs> yeah. I don't play either of the characters, but uh, if someone told me that that was one of his worst matchups, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It's the kind of matchup that sends you to therapy 10 years down the line. You don't know why you're acting the way you do, and you know it all goes back to Ramlethal and Exard. <laughs> Depending on when you started playing Exard, you might be a lot of people in that situation. Yeah, Red Delta pointing out that that's one of those matchups where uh, if if you if you're not you know well versed in how it works out, that's a that's a mess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ramlethal probably just another one of those characters that definitely has some knowledge checks. Um. But Undertow, Undertow clearly Undertow. showing I mean, some much, knowledge. Much more success. Oh, gets the air attack buttons, gets searching out. And now he's blocking the biking again. Made the right read on the up back, but too far away for that grappling hook to hit. Ooh. Oh, the tatami counter, gets counter hit tatami. More tatamis. Did we get some pressure going? Nice IB from the uh, urchin, though. All I right, think what's the setup? Tries to parry, but gets opened up. And we're gonna see some Oki gets oh, nice opened bonus. up low. First round going to urchin. Ooh, counter hit but can't convert. I have to kink for it again. Oh, holding that berry for a long time. Just hoping. Daring, daring to do something, but the thing he does beats the berry. And now, it is Ram with all time once again. Restand mix. Yeah, with the low. Well. That, was, that, that low there is so hard to block. Oh, yeah. Like you said earlier, that little hop before yeah. the low, just so tricky. very tricky. Nice. Let's open up high there, and that's the round. Oh, oh, first! First, but loses, but burst. Faded, loses with a perfect. Alright, Urchin, first, step one on the uh, getting the run back. Just gotta do it five more times. <laughs> but Urchin showing that he certainly has the potential to do that. Yeah, and Rim's certainly a snowball character. If he can keep the momentum going, then. Uh... And the mental game, too, here, I think. Uh, Rim is a character that. If you can. Uh... You know, get people tilted, probably have a lot of success. Right. 
And another aspect Ooh. is that Ramlethal coming in hot, Urchin has been playing, so is already warmed yeah. up, and Undertow had a bit of a break, so may need to, a round or two to wake up. Um, but Ramlethal, definitely not going to give many opportunities, definitely not going to give that chance. Did that chance. pull him out of the corner? That was sick. And we're going to see another restand mix. Oh, blocks nice the low. Block, head angle, okay. Undertow was ready. Let's see if Undertow can do something here. Oh, Mash is out of the throw. He's done for that too many times. And we're able to take the round here. Let's see. Uh, let's hit again. A lot, of, a lot of swords, a lot of Tommy being thrown out around here. Yeah, I like the Tatami answer to the sword setups. Uh, it's a very yeah. safe nice option for yeah. Let's See if you can get anything off this here. Good throw. Now we're in the corner. Tatami. Trying, trying to bait, uh, wake up something from Ram, I think. The version didn't bite. Nice Good blitz. Blitzed. Got the knockdown here. Nice bait on the blitz. Tatami, air dash, low. Blitz nice. me back. Undertow Let's taking it back. Himself on the board slightly. A lot of command dashes flying around here. Undertow playing a much more grounded game this round so far. I say yep. he instantly air dashes. Wow. Great job on but holding I, the I, parry, I, waiting for the sword yeah, slash. Yeah, the way he's trying to, what, he's, what he's been holding this parry for is uh, trying to catch the sword slash coming. Nice oh, bait on the first. Oh, the tatami doesn't quite reach. Pressure up, nice. Yeah, I think. I mean, those uh, were some explosive rounds from Urshan to begin with, but Undertow did win this matchup in Winter Side uh, yeah. fairly cleanly. He just, he, got, he went for the same read there that he won the uh, Winter Side match with, is the uh, doing the doing his normal combo and like baiting the air tech with the grapple, but this time he was not yeah. able to. A little bit out of range, but was able still able to close off the rounds. And we are now one one. Yeah, I think the yeah. pairing Great the sword reaction. pairing the sword seems to be uh, Undertow's un adaptation here. Absolutely, uh, yeah, it's paying working off. Out, working out pretty well, yeah. I didn't even—I blinked and frame's almost dead. Nice blocks. Yeah. We're seeing. Oh, I was gonna say we were seeing Undertow be very patient. Nice. Uh, the, first. It's the YRC uh, Tatami again. Now he's out of meter. Ramothal has a lot of it. Oh, and, and it's party corner. time. This is a very rough looking situation for Undertow. Nice block until he gets hit. And that's the round. And that will be it. Alright. Jump back to Tommy. Yeah. Going Handling those swords. Yeah. Undertow going back to the uh, jump P, jump to Tommy strategy that he's using before. Let's see if it uh, how it goes for him. Nice. It does manage to get the uh, get an opening here. Undertow is in. Nice. He's able to parry. Okay. Good call. Oh, good burst bait, but doesn't get a punish, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think Urchin. Uh, Maybe it's because he's, um, you know, we have we haven't seen him around here, right? So it might be. I, th I it, my impression watching them is they seem like a player that is good at capitalizing on player habits, and it might be that they didn't have uh, that knowledge going into the tournament, but now after having seen more of Undertow and played against him more, that they might. Might be able to make the adjustments. Oh, not there though. Nice dust from Undertow. Oh, the throw. throw. That's it. Yeah, we'll see. I think Ram, Ram also, especially in offense, you have kind of have to structure it in a way to beat the beat Bikens defensive options. Oh, absolutely. Uh, every character has to really think about the way they're pressuring Biken and about where the gaps are in their pressure. Uh, it makes you approach the matchup completely differently. And Ramlethal, who's got these kind of like canned strings, um, mm -hmm. 
Baikin can really like predict what's coming next and know when to parry. So it's really showcasing Undertow's matchup knowledge uh, and just general awareness. But on the flip side, I do think that Urchin has done a pretty good job varying his offense up to sort of counteract that. But right now, it is all Undertow. Got the hit in the corner and running the game. But uh, uh, Urchin able to air dash out. Misses he's getting a lot combo. of straight, straight hits with the swords, but doesn't really feel like he's able to convert it into a combo ever. Yeah. Usually when he gets well, usually when he gets a conversion, it's uh, off of a ground hit, and again there, the straight air hit doesn't lead into anything. I don't know if that's a limitation of Ramothal, or he's just uh, not ready no. for the hit. We were seeing him confirm off those stray sword hits in earlier matchups, so I, uh, I'm seeing, thinking that it's just maybe, um, maybe the it's opportunity. Yeah. yeah. But he's got the hit now. And oh, hits the overhead. The overheads. That's game and two. 2-1. Two, two, yeah, it's 2-1, game three. Great back and forth between these two players. Really could swing yeah, definitely very close. either way at a moment's notice. I almost wonder if uh might be I feel like Undertow is playing kind of uh like safe and I wonder if he needs to play a little bit more unsafe. Yeah, just turn up the heat a little bit. I want yeah. to see Amir him go wild. I mean he did there, he did run up parry into the like the uppercut follow up, getting yeah. into the corner, so it's right now going wild is working pretty well for him, the IED jump H. Going, going mean, all in two hundred percent. We are seeing uh, Urchin take advantage of players nice respecting parry. him too much by jumping out of pressure. So yeah. if Undertow just goes a little more Unga, it might pay off for him. Yeah, I mean, it worked it worked out excellently for that first round. He was playing much more aggressively there and took it almost clean, and almost perfectly cleanly. Nice counter hit, Good nice throw. throw. Good counter hit, that's going to hurt. Again. Person trying to mash out of the situation. Not working. Oh no! Drops the combo. But still in a pretty good spot. Oh, and the that's the game. Game, game uh, four, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the that's the adaptation Undertow needed is just stop. You know, you, you can't. Make, you can't. You were kidding about back and forth. Jeez. Yeah. You definitely you can't. You can't give Ram respect uh, in any matchup, but this one specifically, because if you let her just do whatever she wants with the swords, you. Know, you're gonna have a hard time. Oh, absolutely. So I think to play more aggressively is, is a good a good change from Undertow. Undertow off to a strong start, nice. pairing the sword. Pairing the sword again, forcing the burst. Counter hits a tiny. Oh, gets hit by the Tatami again. One. I think he was trying to jump right. out again, uh, yeah, and probably. Urchin is gonna to have to realize that Undertow is catching him on those now. Nice. I was gonna say I want to see I want to see the, the IED parry again. Oh, and that's so, gonna be the round. Oh my god, the little, the little flex. So this is tournament point for Undertow. Uh, let's see what Urchin can do to turn this around. Yeah, this this is an incredibly good uh, grand final so far, though. Oh. A lot of back, a lot of, lot of adaptations and back and forth from both players. Oh, this is where it starts, though. Yeah, Urchin. Uh, one mix-up could lead to death here. If this mix-up, he can stay in it. Oh, gets counter hit by the slash. Yeah, just far slash out, why not? Oh, it doesn't... gets free, uh... free beat it there. Oh, gets hit by the tatami. It's nice bait! Bait's the burst. One more mix-up. That's exactly what Undertale wants. Hellfire damage. Yeah, the, again, like James said earlier, that super doesn't really do... Wow, the wake-up slide! Undertow is hungry, he wants this. Jump forward parry again from Undertow, he's making the read. Oh, it doesn't... Gets the counter hit, but doesn't... He doesn't have to close it out, this is anyone's game. And nice! The Tatami the Tatami takes it. Counter hits. Winning by a sliver, Undertow taking it through too. Wow. Uh, incredible that? set. <laughs> uh, incredible sets all around, a lot of back and forth in the tournament tonight. Um... Great job, Urchin, uh, a player I had never heard of before, uh, coming through and getting second in Boston Blue Beat. Um, great games to Undertow for taking it all the way through winners. Um, not dropping a set. Great shout outs to really everyone who entered today. He didn't, uh, he didn't we drop a game before that set either. I'm looking at the bracket now. 
Oh god, no, he didn't. Wow. <laughs> yeah, great job all around. Um, yeah, very high but, level of play consistently across all players in this tournament. A lot, um, good, a lot of good matches. Always a joy to see these participate. Uh, uh, it's, it's always great when well. people come out. Even though it's a it's online tournament, people come out in these great numbers for the Steam version of Guilty Gear. It's just great to see. Yeah, great we, game. We try to mix it up. We try to mix it up, uh, you know, week by week and everything. Um, we uh, we will be uh, back on PS4 uh, next week, uh, and then PC the week after, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. People came out, man, living through August. Yeah, they did. Um, <laughs> Sarge, that was really tight. That was really, really good. Um, Shoutouts to what what appears to be the majority of the Ramlethal Discord showing up in chat to cheer on their boy. Um, just really great stuff all around. I, I love doing this, Pickles. Uh, Gorgovich, thank you guys so much uh, for, for doing commentary as well. Uh, yeah, let's me get you know, even more lost in the matches and everything too, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, uh, yeah thank you. I mean, I, I love watching this game. I love yelling about this game. It's great. That was fun. That was definitely... A lot of good matches to watch. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, not remember what the seedier parts of the Ramleth. Ha! No, they're great. They're great people. I popped over the Ramlethal Discord for a while when I was learning that character. Yeah, Pickles was here. Yeah, Sarge is like, whoa! It was awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, Urchin, I, I haven't really been uh, haven't been playing as much gear lately with a uh, quarantine, but yeah, it's really cool to see everyone. Um, uh, as we character saw discords aren't that bad. Like, uh, yeah. it, I mean, if you if you follow the Arc System Works Twitter, you've seen worse already. Yeah, this is true. This is true. This is a true statement. Okay. Uh, I mean, it depends on the it depends on the character, I think, but most of them are pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was, it was good stuff. Um, so we will be back next week on uh on PS4. Um, before we sign off, uh, I would like again uh to remind you all here at Boston Blue Beat, we are very passionate about Black Lives Matter. Um, and if you are able to donate time, uh, money, whatever you can, uh, to either the Bail Project uh, or the uh, National Black Justice Coalition, um, that would be much appreciated. Um, both of those are great charities in need of your help. Um, additionally, our friends over at System Arcadia are running uh, a show this Saturday night um, on Twitch. Uh, they are twitch.tv slash System Arcadia, twitter.com slash System Arcadia. Uh, they've got a really cool set, a uh, bunch of uh, J-Core artists all put together, and proceeds for that will be benefiting uh, the uh, National Black Justice Coalition as well. Um, so uh, be sure to tune in then, Saturday night, good tunes, uh, good vibes. Um, otherwise, uh, tune in tomorrow night uh, for Boston Blue Beat again. We will be doing uh, Blaze Blue, um, and uh, maybe you get to see a little, little, little JMD Makoto, maybe not, we'll see, depends on... Uh, <laughs> Depends on how the workday goes. <laughs> um, but but overall, thank you all so much again for coming out, uh, showing up. Uh, this is always a pleasure. And uh, until next time, uh, be excellent to each other and uh, stay spicy. <laughs>